One of the most important things to remember is that there's a continuum of infection in any population. Often what we see, or what we could count as infection, comes through people being tested within a clinical setting. People go to their doctor or they go to an ER. They're obviously sick, and in that context, they might get tested for the coronavirus. What about the individuals that are not as sick? They think it's maybe just a cold, but they too have the coronavirus. In the way that we typically count cases, we would never even know that they are there. So people use the idea of an iceberg where who we actually count in a population is the tip of the iceberg, who's above the water. So those are individuals that have died of the disease, that have really severe or critical cases brought on by the coronavirus, or even as more testing gets widespread in physicians' offices, it could be symptomatic cases. People with significant fever or cough might also be able to be tested. We often don't get any information, because they aren't sick enough, about the mild or asymptomatic cases. And from the widespread testing in China, what we learned was about 80% of the cases were in this mild category, and only about 20% of the cases were in this severe category. This is Sharon Cardia on behalf of the School of Public Health.